Hey guys, hope you're well. Want to give you a very quick update. This case is not protester related, but it is, of course, Scientology related. So uh, you might want to refer to Aaron Smith Levin's video for more proper legalese, but still want to give you a quick rundown on the lawsuit that the Jane Doe's collectively are bringing against Danny Masterson in addition to a number of Scientology entities. I think about three entities altogether. Uh, so there was, there's, there's an attempt to file an anti-slap motion. That motion by the anti-slap meaning a motion that would be oppositional trying to get the case thrown out because Scientology's case would be that the entire hearing is frivolous and it's a waste of the court's time and it should be thrown out on its face. Now the judge who's still working on this case did reject that, but that was appealed. So because of that, the judge said, well, there needs to be a lot more time to consider this appeal. The Jane Doe's on the other opposing side wanted to remark that even though there could be an appeal being heard uh, to this rejection of the anti-slap motion, why couldn't discovery still happen? Meaning, why couldn't evidence be further unearthed? Why couldn't other motions be considered? And there's an attempt on the Jane Doe's part to add uh, two new aspects in addition to the three that has already been listed into the lawsuit. So they also asked, well, can you at least do a ruling on that specifically as to whether or not that's applicable? And in addition, there's a... Uh, an additional Jane Doe that the Jane Doe's want to add. Uh, I think her name is Trisha Vesey, and she's very interesting because she kind of came out public. She did an interview with the Rolling Stone in November of 2022. So she didn't come out uh, publicly about Masterson until in the middle of the trial. She wasn't a part of the trial, but she was in an important facet of it because what she did is she testified to Danny Masterson's character and remarked upon that there were incidences, incidents, two of them, where she passed out and was awoken while, unfortunately, Masterson was penetrating her. Not fun to use these words, but want to give it to you straight. Uh, so her, her turn as a character win has really helped kind of win the case. So there's a lot of respect for her and this lawsuit was originally filed back in 2019 before Danny Masterson was criminally charged. So the Jane Doe's, after the victory, after the uh, guilty verdict of Danny Masterson, the Jane Doe's felt like they had some more momentum. So why not add these two aspects, uh, which one of them is uh, sexual battery, which is an important aspect of it, and there, there's another one as well. So why not add these aspects uh, add these extra clauses, and so that is unknown. It looks like this is going to get the it, the judge said the trial won't go underway probably until about a year from now, but there will be something in mid May. Of course, I'll be with uh, there with you each and every day, and we're going to have to wait a super long time, but hey, I should still be stuck here. You guys seem to appreciate the work, so I appreciate that. And uh, one interesting thing to look out for, uh, Chrissy Bixler is one of the Jane Doe's in this lawsuit. In addition to Bixler, her husband is on the lawsuit. And that the reason is, is because he's part of this lawsuit it stems from uh, harassment and intimidation when the witnesses were trying to get the truth to be known and trying to speak the truth about Masterson. So one of the things that happened that they're saying is that and there's pretty tangible proof about this is that Scientology poisoned Bixler and her husband's dog. So the, the details of the poisoning of the dog is really going to be on there in the details of this case. And these are this is why it's important because you want to look at uh, what kind of generates press and, and mainstream attention to really even further get egg on Scientology's face. And I think and everybody loves their dogs, as I'm sure you all know. So I think once that's kind of further detailed, uh, there's there might be some really interesting mainstream news about it. Uh, so that's just something kind of interesting to look forward to the trial. But some bad news, nothing surprising. And look, nobody... Uh, so far, actually, the Jane Doe's have had mostly 
a most mostly favorable shake from the judge. Not completely favorable. They should the judge should have just let this all continue. But still, I would say mostly favorable uh, because initially the anti-slap motion was thrown out. It'll probably be thrown out again. But of course, they have the right. The opposition has the right to make that appeal. Uh, so not too discouraging. But want to give you a quick rundown, and I will see you for Henry tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye bye.